Hello, Scott Laird here from Royal Oaks Country Club. Thanks for all the uh, questions. So uh, we get a question about the video submitted with the one hand chipping motion, trail hands. Question, when I put the second hand on, my lead hand, what should, uh, what should I be doing? Well, just a continuation to that previous video, I think tempo is number one that we need to consider and think about. If we want slow ball speed around the green, which we do versus fastball speed, we need to have a slow swing. So slow swing equals slow ball speed. So what do I mean by that? So just like the feel you had with your trail hand moving the club back and through the same speed, we want to have that same feel when we put both hands on the golf club as well, okay? So we want to feel like it's a long, slow swing around the green, okay? So next thought here, which really gets missed a lot of times, is really trying to control how the bottom of the club interacts with the ground. And as many of you have heard in the past, we want to try and use the back part of the club, or what we call the bounce, as much as possible versus the leading edge. The leading edge is the forward part of the golf club. That's the part we want to have interact with the ground on faster ball sweeps, speed swings versus slower ball speed swings, okay? So we really want the back of the club to interact with the ground more than the leading edge when we're hitting chip shots. So what's one way to help ensure that we can do that? Or even two ways. So number one would be how we set up to the ball is extremely important. So we wanna make sure that we don't put the ball too far back in our stance with the handle or grip leaning too far forward. That's going to lead to a steep angle of attack and de-lofting the club, which increases ball speed and also using, using the leading edge too much. So what we really want to do is try to get the ball maybe slightly back in our stance. Maybe have the handle of the club leaning slightly forward, but then from there, we're trying to make a swing where we get the club to return where it started, or the amount of shaft lean that we have forward in the setup comes back to the same spot, not leaning forward of where it started, okay? Second thing, and this is one that really gets missed a lot when we're trying to use the bounce, is where the club face is at the end of our backswing. So I've got some different options here. I've got one where the face is too, what we call too closed or pointed down at the ground too long. I've got another one where the face is what we call too open or the face is pointing more at the sky. And then I've got what we would prefer to see in the proper chipping motion where the club is in a very neutral position where this part, the toe of the club is pointed at the sky. Okay, and so what I see a lot of times is I see players take the club back too close and then from there they either have to reroute or manipulate the club to get loft back on the club at impact or they just get what they get because the face is too closed. Now they get this this closed club face, de-lofted, leading edge sort of look, okay? So the fix here is to really pay attention to, as you move that club into the backswing as a checkpoint to right here, this halfway back position, you wanna make sure that club face is gradually rotating into an open position. And then from there, you can go ahead and deliver the club to the ball. Okay, so I hope that helps and hope it works on your chipping.